We're here with head coach Tom Brown of West Texas A&M. Picked up a 72-58 victory over UT Permian Basin. Um, How did you feel your team played today? We played pretty well. You know, they had a, they came out in zone, and, and anytime you see a zone, and they've got some big guys that can move. Um, you know, we're not the biggest team in the world, but we got the ball inside a little bit. We got it to the middle, and we got some really good looks for Zach. Uh, Jojo Quay hits, knocks him down, John L as well. And, you know, when we're doing that, it, it's tough for them to stay in it. They had to go man a little bit at the end of the game, and then we could get to the basket a little bit more. But I thought our defense was pretty good. We had some breakdowns, but overall we played a pretty good game. I give UTPB a lot of credit. You know, they, get, they lost some players. Uh, Jordan Horn was out. Some other guys are out. So they're down a little bit, but they left it all out there tonight, and I thought they played a pretty good game for having a limited number of players. Uh, McQuay, he was effective tonight, 20 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 9 of 19 from the field. What did you think that he could do against UT Permian Basin? Uh, you know, he can get, anytime he gets in the lane, he's pretty tough to stop. And when we can get him out in transition, he's really good. But I thought defensively he was very solid tonight. He didn't take chances. He played really well. He walled up. He got rebounds. I thought Quay had a really good game defensively tonight. I thought our whole team did. We had a few breakdowns on the ball screen, which is very frustrating. We didn't flatten the guy out coming off the ball screen. They turned the corner, and you know they got inside a little bit on us. But you know you can't complain about everything. Um, you could, but nobody's going to listen to you after a while. And so, you know, I thought our team played a pretty good game tonight. You know, it's it's something that we had a 20-point lead, and then it kind of dribbled down a little bit, but. Um, that was okay. I thought you for the 17 point lead, I thought you kind of kept them out of a, of a major run. We had a 17 point lead, we got the rebound. Oh, at halftime. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. Yeah, well, then we had a 17 point lead in the second half with about seven or eight minutes to go. We get a rebound, and there's a guy right there, but we throw it up the sideline, bounce pass to the other team. And it's just like, come on, know the time, know the situation. We want to run. I mean, there's, there's, there's no secrets about that. Our team, we want to go. But you got to make sure, especially in that situation, even in the first half, that's not a good pass. And so you got to learn from those mistakes, and I think we will. Um, and we're going to have to learn from them because it's March Madness right now. You know, Friday, Saturday, if, if we're lucky enough to win those two, we'll be in the regional for sure, winning the conference tournament. But if we don't win those two, you just never know. You know, you just never know. With, with Lubbock losing, I think Lubbock's in no matter what. Um, you know, and then you've got Kingsville, us, and St. Ed's. St. Ed's wins it. That takes a spot away from somebody. So you better be careful here, and you got to win your ball games. Otherwise, somebody might be left kind of holding the bag, so to speak. So talking about Friday, you guys will host Dallas Baptist. They, they defeated Midwestern State. Um, yeah, we'll host them at 4 o'clock, and then uh, the second game will be at 645. And, um, you know, they beat us once, we beat them once. They've got a really good team. They've got Chandler Jacobs, who's a phenomenal player. Ricky, Ricky's really good, they're a little freshman. And then William Heather, you know, the big kid can really pass the ball. And um, they've got uh, Carson Hughes, is really good wing form, can knock down threes. The other kid, I forget his name, but very good defensive player and can knock down threes. And then they got a couple kids coming in off the bench, a big freshman and another shooter. So. We got our hands full with Dallas Baptist. They've got their hands full with us. I think it's going to be a great college game. Um, you know, get a ticket, get down here, watch, watch those games. You get probably get to watch two games for the price of one, maybe. I don't know on that. Oh, um, check, check that. You're going to have to pay for the whole, uh, unless you can hide somewhere. But they're pretty good. They'll clean you out of here. But come on down. Great games coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday here at First United Bank Center.